a lot of the success that we will find in years like this is through the development of our young players. So there's a lot of work that goes into that in terms of identifying certain styles of play, certain attributes that they possess, whether it's a compete level, a certain skill set that they show, the way they process the game that we could see coming to the NHL and all playing the same way together. The Blackhawks prospect pool includes players at many different stages of development. Whether they spend time in the WHL or the collegiate ranks, all aim to make the NHL roster. Everyone's path is different, but growth can be achieved in a variety of places, as players on the ice and as people off it. At the NHL level, it's not the greatest thing to see losses every night. It's not fun for the players, coaches, management. You know, you want to win, but where we're at, we're investing in the young players, in the culture here in Chicago, and the development of our players throughout the organization to get there, and when we get there, we want to keep doing it year over year. Two rookies who are spending this season in Chicago, Connor Bedard and Kevin Korczynski, are building relationships in the city they now call home. I'm gonna be so deceptive. This is your game though, you know, dodging pucks, not blocking. <laughs> <laughs> you get hit? Yeah. Come on, dude. Number you? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Let's go. One nothing. Floor hockey? Um, I haven't played a lot of floor hockey. I played hockey for a while though. Oh. How about you? You like floor hockey? Yeah. That's nice. What's your favorite subject in school? Math. Math? Nice. I wasn't very good at math. Oh, get on him! He's a shooter! Oh. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You're trying way too hard. Wrong guy to give it to. Good save! Good save! <laughs> Let's go. Nice pass. Is that you? He said that you guys are superstars. No, not, not superstars. Just guys. We're buzzing, eh? We're nasty. You're wearing 98? No, I already hit 98. I hit him again. He doesn't like to be hit. If you give him a big like, ah, oh, he won't like it. This guy sucks. <laughs> get, get me in my office. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. This guy's got a hattie. You should play on my line. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Good job, buddy. Oh. What made you go into hockey? Uh, my dad played hockey, so I wanted to be like my dad. How many push-ups can you guys do? Uh, in a row? Like 5,000. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to see it. Oh, we don't have time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not far from Chicago, Kyle Davidson and his staff are in South Bend to watch a game that has a little bit higher stakes. Notre Dame and Minnesota square off in a Big Ten matchup at the end of their regular season. For Davidson, it's a chance to check in on prospects Landon Slaggart, Oliver Moore, and Sam Renzel. It's important for us to keep tabs on uh, our prospects that are either, you know, new to the system like Oliver or, or that are, you know, further along and and ready to you know, finish up their college career like Landon Slager. It's a convenient game too when you have prospects playing each other like tonight. It's a 
good, uh, you know, kind of measuring stick for us to get a sense of where they're at, where their strengths are, where their weaknesses are. You're always evaluating where they're at and, and you know, where the gaps there are to fill both in their development and also in your roster at the pro ranks. Good win. Yeah, huge. Yeah. He did it, obviously, after last weekend, so. Yeah. Yeah, I had a video with Cons earlier this week, so yeah. it's helping me out. Yeah. yeah. Good, yeah. good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's paying off the work you put in. Yeah, really appreciate that. Team. Thank you. Keep it up, finish strong. I know you guys probably need. As Sligert wraps up his final year at Notre Dame, the two freshmen at Minnesota get used to the collegiate lifestyle as roommates. 2022 first round pick Sam Renzel and 2023 first round pick Oliver Moore are growing in their first years at the collegiate level. For me, it's you know, obviously getting bigger, faster and stronger and learning where my game's at kind of at this level and you know, just keep getting better at every area of the ice. We knew he could create offense, we knew he could play with the puck, but it's also his play defensively that started to improve upon it as he gets ready for pro hockey. Rebound. Coming here was a pretty smooth transition and it's been a lot of fun being a college student and playing here has been awesome. Every day is an opportunity to get better and you don't want to even look at next year, you don't want to look at tomorrow. I'm just trying to get better every day and just control what I can control. You go and watch Oliver play, and, and the first thing that stands out is the skating and the speed at which he plays. Yeah, it was something that we loved about his game, and maintaining that high pace of play and that high work rate is something that we really look for him to do moving forward. The first... Was it the first time we really talked was when we were getting our like our physicals, our physicals done? Were getting done yeah. yeah, I think we were like the two earliest ones to like kind of come on campus and probably get to know each other quicker than kind of some of the other freshmen maybe. So like Ollie, I think said was just like, yeah, let's be roommates. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I don't even know how messy my closet is. I'm like kind of worried. You got his, he's got a bunch of shoes. You oh, see the shoes? Too bad. You were saying, and then I have a whole bunch in here. We don't have enough money to pay for our own shoes yet, so it's like... <laughs> our whole team got these like at the beginning of the tournament. In January, four Blackhawks prospects kicked off the new year with a gold medal at the World Junior Championships, an experience they'll never forget, shared with potential future teammates. Our whole entire team bonded. You know, it wasn't just the Blackhawks guys, but honestly it ended up where we kind of all gravitated toward each other too, Sam, Frank, Avin, and I. So it's kind of funny how that worked out, but it was great. With Michigan in town, Former teammate Frank Nazar is now the opposition. Obviously, it'll be exciting to catch up and you know play against him as well. Obviously, he's a great player, so fun competing against him, and obviously, super fun competing with him. So, so it's like on the ice, he's definitely the enemy. <laughs> yeah, I'd say for sure, no friends on the ice. It is the Minnesota Golden Gophers versus the Michigan Wolverines. Skating it up ice now is Frank Nazar. Drops it off for Roger McGrady. He scores. Gophers in front of the net. Moore turning and shooting. The star. Ollie Moore. By golly, it's Ollie. Gophers trying to enter the zone. Runs out the point. Walking right in. Shot wide. Yeah. The rebound is score. Jackson Nelson gets the second of the game. Block. Look down there as well. Scramble. The star. And it looks like Ollie Moore will get his second of the game. For three of the prospects, their collegiate careers are just getting started. But Slaggart, who was drafted in 2020, is reaching the end of his senior year and is signing a two-year entry-level contract with the Blackhawks. He'll get the chance to play in the city he grew up coming to as a kid. Are you nervous at all or no? Um, no, I'm honestly just excited. It's, it's been such like a whirlwind of uh, emotions just from the end of my college season, so I haven't honestly been able to process everything that's kind of come my way, so honestly, I'm just excited to get going. Still getting used to the city driving. Couldn't have scripted it better. I think my mom's the most fired up out of everyone, though. You never know what uh, the future holds, but it, it's, it's nice to, to be such a, a short drive away. Uh, not, not planning on getting homesick, but if I, if I ever need my mom to pop out, it's, uh, it's a quick drive, so it's, that's always nice.
I know Alex Velasic pretty well from the program at NTDP, so it'll be nice to have him as a resource in the locker room. And, and Nick Foligno actually reached out, and I've heard nothing but, but great things about him and his leadership, so I'm really excited to start learning from him. Been a fan in the building many times, so I guess just to be on the, the receiving end of, of such a great fan base is, is something that I'm looking forward to. And honestly, just having my family there and my teammates there, that, that's going to mean the world to me, just having them uh, behind me and supporting me. So I think that's the biggest thing. Good to see you. How are you doing? Good. Doing well. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Not congratulations to your college team. I know, but I know I'm here a little sooner than I wanted to yeah, be, yeah, but yeah, 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 happy to be here. Yeah. Thank you. So just take your car and go up. I guess I don't need anything, so. Normally I walk in like I have my backpack and stuff from school, like this is weird. Got me all set up already, yeah. thank you. What's up, buddy? How are you, man? I'm Nick. Well. Nice Great to meet to you. Meet Welcome, you. yeah. Nice to meet you. How's everything going? It's going well. Short yeah. drive? Yeah, not too bad. Nice. Makes it pretty easy. With Landon, we've seen the continuation of the style of play that not only we liked in the draft a number of years ago, but throughout his college career at Notre Dame, where he's just a relentless player. You never see him take a shift off. He's a good skater, he's a hard worker, and he can pitch in offensively. He's that type of guy that uh, you can put anywhere. Um, you know, he's got, you know, some skill. He scored some goals this year and had a pretty good senior year, And uh, but he's a responsible guy and, and kills some penalties and stuff. It's great to get a, a look at them and they're excited, so you get the best of them right now. And then obviously they'll, uh, you know, settle into the role that they're going to play at this level. The more reps that they get, that'll just present itself. I think you get a little bit of a taste of it at development camp, you know, meeting all the guys and, and seeing what, uh, you know, kind of the day-to-day processes of, of being a pro but you know you don't truly understand until you get here so it's, it's cool to finally be in this position but yeah there's definitely a lot of hype a lot of excitement around this organization and, the, and there should be because there's a lot of good players coming up the ranks and a lot of good prospects so you know it's an exciting time to be to be a Hawks fan and you know it's only going to get better. Landon Slaggart, the former captain of the University of Notre Dame hockey team, makes his Blackhawks debut tonight. What a great moment it is. But you know how many his friends and teammates and family members were down at ice level? I was just so happy for him and to see that this little boy who had this big dream, um, it came, came true. He's creating turnovers. He's creating offense for others. He's getting in front of the net. He's turning pucks over with young players, we'll make sure that they get all of the work necessary, both in game and in practice and off the ice to make sure that they're being put in the best situation to improve. What's the most exciting part about tonight? Uh, actually really looking forward to his rookie lap, I think, because that's honestly the only thing he's guaranteed. One day on his journey, obviously a big day and a milestone, but just kind of trying to keep it in perspective that it's one day along the path. How awesome is that to kind of see how many people come out and support oh, your son? It's overwhelming. I mean, it's, it's something I always knew because we feel it from the people that have supported us and loved us. And I just feel like the goodness is chasing us. And I love that we have been able to do this together as a family and with our friends. It is just a celebration. Slaggart, Moore, Rinzel, and Nazar are all striving to become NHL players. Young defensemen Kevin Korczynski and Alex Vlasic made that jump this season, developing under the bright lights of the NHL. Good stuff, bad stuff, um, a lot of learning stuff, like um, living alone. I had billets last year in Seattle, so um, I was away from my family, but like I still have like another family now. It's like you're by yourself, you gotta 
do everything on your own. Um, but no, it's been it's been unreal. Like the guys have been great. Yeah, it's been awesome. Um, it's one of those things. I feel like for me, especially hometown kid, it's uh, so nice for me to be able to go home. And you know, yesterday on the off day, I went home and got a home cooked meal. So that's something that I feel like I take for granted, honestly, sometimes. And um, for Kevin, obviously having family that's so far away, it can be a lot trickier for his family to visit. So I'm so thankful. It's been a dream come true. And uh, it's been a really fun year, uh, regardless of you know the scoreboard and the score sheets, um, some of the games this year. But it's been uh, yeah, it's been great. Have you kept up with Minnesota at all? Um, not really. I kind of see like the highlights it's the best of, league, like, though. of like a bit college. I follow more the the Western Hockey League. It's a bit better league, a bit tougher. Um, but no, I, I heard they're doing awesome. They uh, World Juniors I followed, and they both did really good. Obviously. Um, Capped it off with a gold medal. Yeah, U.S. baby. Yeah, um, yeah. US, no, US, I think yeah. that was when we kind of watched most of their game, especially uh, like Nazar as well. All those guys. I think there was a few. Gavin yeah. Hayes was there. Um, a lot of a lot of people. That goalie from uh, Slovakia, Adam. Yeah. The only guy I met was Frank at development camp a couple of years ago, but I wasn't there last year. Uh, I've heard nothing but great things about Oliver and um, Sam. Sam. So. Yeah. It'll yeah, be good. They're, they're all lighting it up, so I think if they're they're lighting up down there, it'll help us and um, bring that kind of offensive punch, you could say, and um, a bit of skill, a bit of skating. So I think, no, I think having them whenever they come up and play, um, they're going to have bright futures. It's going to be awesome. Maybe more, more young kids on the team, but um, no, it's exciting. And that's that the whole song. Yes. Uh, my dad is really good. He uh, has been playing since he was a kid, and like he was always in a band. Um, and him and his buddies still get together and play. So he just said like it'd be better off to kind of teach yourself. And then um, he gave me the this is his guitar. Oh, that's when awesome. I so when I moved in here, he gave it to me and cool. just kind of taught myself on YouTube and stuff. Should we go ahead and sell? Yeah, that, that one's one. easier. So. That just like keeps playing over and over over time you just kind of like i didn't really ever learn like the chords and what they were it just like some learning songs i just learned oh this is this chord and got natural and now it's just like if you're like kind of reading music you know okay like this is what this chord is this is what this chord is so just kind of reps kind of like hockey just reps reps and feels better so yeah, that Why do you get so quiet all of a sudden? Because we're just mesmerized <laughs> by your guitar. I feel like I can hear Alex like starting to yeah. sing a little bit in my head. I'm singing in my head. <laughs> yeah, just not saying the words. Yeah. I think with Kevin, it was how talented he was from a skill standpoint with the puck, with his skating. I think if you looked at the start of his draft season, he wasn't rated, maybe even in the first round. But by the end, he was definitely one of the top prospects in that draft. And it was that potential for growth and the growth that we saw in his draft year but that potential of what he could be, it was what really intrigued us. He tees up Korczynski, they score! Lots of improvement left, but he's shown that, you know what, he can play at the NHL level, but at 19, there's gonna be some ups and downs, and you expect that, but what really excited us then and excites us now is the ceiling and what he can become. A lot of uh, guys played well, but of course. Speed. Uh, great win, boys. Obviously, it didn't start out too great, but uh, we are rolling the second, third, and uh, let's play and finish this uh, California Cup off. Oh! Yeah. In Alex, you can see the confidence grow almost with every game. Come on, Slacks. Let's go, baby. Joe. Yep. Twisty. Twisty. Come on. He spent the majority of the last season in Rockford. Now when he's up here, you could tell he felt ready. He felt much more prepared 
having gone through that year in the AHL. His development in pro last year really set him up well for the ability to step into the lineup and contribute right away. I got one. Two. Nice play, Dickie. Good boys. Keep flying, dude. I love it. If you walk up high like that, I'll go through, and then out. And then Jonesy comes behind. You're just seeing him build on the foundation that he's set, not only last year, but the first half of this year, and a player that just looks more and more confident every night. And San Jose is out to a 2 nothing lead halfway through period number one. 3 nothing San Jose. Zetterlin got it back and fires, he scores. It's a power play goal, and the Sharks now lead 4 to nothing. And Donato with a shark winder, Radish, pumps one on goal, they score! Following up, it's Ryan Donato with a hustling play. In front, Johnson scores! Kaiser left point, the Jones left circle. Shoots, he scores! On a delayed penalty. It's a hockey game now, 4-3 San Jose with lots of time on that clock. Hey, hey, hey. Walking at the score! The Hawks have tied the game with 47 seconds left in the third. Kurashev stick handling, looking for Bedard. High slot now. Jones rolls in, fires, he scores! Hawks win in overtime. Seth Jones with a shot from the slot. California go, baby. They did it together, and I thought the guys were, uh, you know, encouraging each other. I heard them uh, after the second period uh, to really go out there and get this tonight, and they really wanted it. And I think uh, internally, that that's that's good leadership in, in the room. These guys playing for jobs and contracts, uh, they're playing for pride, and I think uh, the character they show tonight is a good step in the right direction for a lot of them. Um, Jonesy, two red show team, everything. Donnie got us. There's no shortcuts. There's no easy path. Uh, there's no button that we can hit to, to just win. We can't get there quicker than the development of our players will allow us to get there. So when we get there, we'll hopefully be in a good spot to sustain that. But in the meantime, it's about the journey. It's about developing the players and, and getting excited for the next era of Blackhawks hockey.